Hi, I'm Patty, and I'm going to show you how to roll it. I've got so much of it, I get retired. The nice thing you do is to start with your thumb at the end of the flower, and just with the paper, so just start to kind of roll it with your finger, and it starts your roll. Just kind of rub it, and it starts to curl. You'll see that you'll get a curl. Whichever color you want up, you're going to roll onto itself. So as you start to roll, if I want an orange flower, I'm going to roll orange onto orange. You just start to roll it. Make sure to roll and not fold. Just gently roll it. And you're just going to keep rolling in your fingers. The really nice thing about the die cut is really heavy cardstock versus just a regular cardstock paper. And once you're done rolling your flower, you can move the paper around and adjust the size. So the tighter the roll, the smaller the flower, and the looser the roll, the larger the flower. So we're going to start from the outside. Whichever color you want, you'll have <laughs> up facing you and you'll roll onto it. And then you're going to have something that looks bouncy like this. So, the, I find the best adhesive is the 3D Zots by Thermoweb for something like this because it's uneven edges. Other adhesives don't always stick really well. So, I peel off the 3D Zots. I peel up the bottom end of the circle. I stick the Zot in there. I peel that off. And then I can go ahead and just push that down. And as I push my flower down, it sticks to that sock really nicely. And the center is sticky, so you can put a pearl or a cling or something in there. And then you don't need to add any extra adhesive. So they're, they're my favorite adhesive. What do you do with this last little tail? On the last little tail, you're going to fold it up, and oh, you're going to stick your sock. You okay. You'll need a sock.